Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Katie, and it's First Thing First Period on Friday, April 15, 2016. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Jordan. We're going to start the show by learning about what happened on this day in history. This day in history. First on this day in 1947, Jackie Robinson, age 28, becomes the first African-American player in Major League Baseball when he steps onto Ebbets Field in Brooklyn to compete for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson broke the color barrier in a sport that had been segregated for more than 50 years. Next on this day in 1912, Washington Augustus Roebling II, a 31-year-old race car engineer and driver, dies in the sinking of the RMS Titanic in the icy waters of the North Atlantic. Roebling was named for his uncle, a civil engineer who helped build the Brooklyn Bridge. Also on this day in 1865, President Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, dies from an assassin's bullet. He was shot by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater in Washington the night before. Last on this day in 1912, the British ocean liner Titanic sinks into the North Atlantic Ocean about 400 miles south of, North Finland, of New Finland, Canada. The massive ship, which carried 2,200 passengers and crew, had struck an iceberg two and a half hours before. That's it for me. I'm Trisha reporting for TJTV. Now back to you. Thanks, Trisha. A chimpanzee named Cha Cha escaped from a zoo in Sendai, Japan, and led police and zoo staff on a dramatic two hour chase through a residential neighborhood. After the primate escaped from Yagiyama Zoological Park, he climbed a telephone pole and ran along the wire before he was finally shot with a tranquilizer gun. Ah, the director of the park apologized for the inconvenience caused to local residents. The chimpanzee was not injured and an investigation has been launched by zoo officials about how the chimpanzee got out. Thanks to ABC for this story. Now let's go to Justin to see how the drought in California is doing right now. Over a half of California voted state, the lack of water a major problem. It marked as an even sharper decline in October 2015, and 76% of California voters said that the drought was extremely serious. The surprising thing is that 86% of people said that they plan to limit their wa water usage even after the drought. Nearly everyone said that the upgrading to more water efficiency toilets and appliances were very important. While Central Valley residents were most likely affected by the drought, they were less likely to buy or use less water reliant landscapes. Thanks to Sacramento Bee for this story. Thanks, Justin. Sacramento drafted planting guidelines that called for the removal of many rose bushes so they can preserve the historic integrity of the historic city cemetery. But many supporters of the cemetery rose garden believe that removal is not necessary and attended the meeting to share their opinions. The Sacramento Pr Preservation Commission held a meeting on Wednesday night to discuss the controversial new pruning guidelines at the historic city cemetery. The Technical Advisory Committee will include cultural landscaping, horticulture expert, conservationists, chairs of the City Cemetery Committee, and Preservation Commission. They will review the pruning guidelines and make rec recommendations. For more information, go to fox40.com. Hey, hey, Katie, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to talk. Sports, sports talk. talk. Hey, sports fans, get ready because it's time for another sports talk. Yesterday, the Rockies came out victorious after a match with the Giants. Their injuries are starting to pile up after Sergio Romo headed home with a flexor strain near his right elbow and Brandon Crawford with a hip flexor. Second baseman Joe Panic didn't start Thursday's game because of a sore hip. 
However, there are some good news for the Giants, who got Buster Posey back after missing two games of the Colorado series while recovering from a foul tip his right instep Sunday. In hockey news, the San Jose Sharks beat the Los Angeles Kings in a close game of 4-3. It was another road win with a 28-10-3. That's it for me. I'll see you next time when we can talk sports talk. Thanks, Denzen. That's it for today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of First, First Things, Things First, First on TJTV. TV. I'm Katie. Have a great weekend. And I'm Jordan. Remember to put out your recycling bins right now.